In this black sheath here is the wiring for the thermistor and the encoder, I labeled it. Um, so this measures the temperature of the motor on uh, the rotational position and RPM. Um, th this wires up to these two connectors. This one is for the encoder and then this one, this two pin one is for the thermistor. So I'm going to plug this uh, harness in and get this cut down to size. Alright, so I plugged the amp seal connector into the plug on the inverter. Uh, and I have all the the uh, other wires here, but for now we're just going to focus on this um, sheath section of wire. So inside this there's three different color foils. There's blue foil, let's see if it'll focus here. There's blue foil, red foil, and green foil. And uh, the foil is for electromagnetic uh, interference shielding because these three AC phases produce quite a bit of uh, electrical noise that you want to and you don't want that interfering with all the signals uh, to the encoder, to the thermistor. What you want to do next is trim off any of the excess length. Uh, this, this sheath section comes with six feet of wire and most of the time your inverter is only a foot or less uh, from the motor so you don't need all that length so you, cut, you can cut off the excess and then you want to remove the sheathing about four inches from the end of, from where you cut it uh, to expose the foil because these wires are not all going to the same place. One of these is going to the thermistor and two of these uh, to the encoder. So in the user manual it shows you which foil corresponds to which plug. Uh, the green foil, which the one I'll do first, is for the thermistor. Uh, if you scroll down to the next page it has the pin out. So you can see pin 1 is the ground and pin 2 is, is the thermistor connection for this plug. So I have the plug right here. It came in a little bag like this which has this plug and the other one for the four pin connector. Uh, it has the pins and some waterproofing uh, plugs. So next you want to grab some heat shrink. Uh, first you put on a half inch piece, half inch diameter piece of heat shrink. You slide it up, all three of them, to seal off the end. Uh, you don't heat shrink it yet, you just put it on there. And then you grab three quarter inch diameter heat shrink pieces and uh, put one on each one of these twisted pair uh, twisted pairs wrapped in foil. So next you want to remove about an inch to an inch and a half of the foil and the plastic covering under it and also this small uh, grounding wire. You want to cut that back about an inch, an inch or an inch and a half from the end of the wire. Uh, once you do that for all three of the twisted pairs uh, you want to go ahead and put these little rubber amp seal uh, waterproofing connectors on each one of the wires. I've done two so far as you can see. And you want to make sure that the narrower end points towards the end of the wire and the wider end towards the uh, connection to the inverter. So next you want to strip off just enough wire uh, for these little pins here. To crimp these on, these pins onto the wires, I just use normal pliers, um, needle nose pliers. And the lower section cr uh, crimps to the actual copper core of the wire, and the outer section that it folds over the insulation of the wire to pinch it in place. Uh, that's how these little connectors work, these little pins. Once you're done uh, putting the pin ends on the wires, you can go ahead and slide on the connectors. So this is the two pin connector for the thermistor. Um, if you can see, it's not focusing super well, but the left pin over here is number two. That corresponds with the white wire here. And the pin number one on the right is for the black wire, the ground, analog ground. For the four pin connector, pin four, which is furthest to the left when you're looking at it from above, uh, is the black wire from the red foil. Pin three is the green wire from the blue foil. Pin 2 is the black wire from the blue foil, and then pin 1 is the red wire from the red foil. Once you push all the pins in and they're fully uh, in place, you push in this red retaining clip, which I've already done for both of the plugs, but you push it in until it clicks, and that locks it in place. And then what you want to do is, for each of these little yellow uh, seals, you just push it into the housing to create that waterproof seal. Now you can uh, plug in the connectors 
to make sure that it fits properly and then you can apply heat to your heat shrink to seal off the connections and then you're done.